opened up to a little bit a while ago but hadn't actually tried and I'm going to be honest and say that I'm not sure whether I like them or not yet that's the honest reply but it's a cool thing so I'm an 11 gauge guy at the moment I do a lot of drop tuning but I use a standard 11 gauge 50 is going to be much better for you well that's what you're saying well we'll find out when I string my guitar and see what happens but I can tell you the truth the truth is as an economy maker I'm always micro adjusting the tension as I glide over the strings for sweeping in particular, but also for sort of, sort of faster pick runs. What I noticed immediately was Simon gave me this lovely lag with the balance 10 cell in it, was that it felt like I was playing the same string on every string. And although my left hand couldn't feel a difference, my right hand really could feel a difference. And I said it feels like going from a manual to an automatic car. Because it's, it's, it removes one extra thing you have to focus on. Yeah, sure. And I like that. I like not having to think that I'm playing. So I think if you really like quick runs, fast picks, legato, especially if you're an economy picker like I am, Ingve kind of type stuff, I think these are probably a really good idea to try. If you alternate pick, you're probably already chopping through quite hard, from my experience, and you might not notice quite as much of a difference. But economy pickers absolutely will notice difference, especially some of the sets. The B and E string, the ball drop, boom out if you hit them. Yeah, they, they just they give for you. So it's an interesting idea. We're going to show you some of the science in the diagram down here, and then you're going to talk about it a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit. I think uh, the thing about you not being sure yet of whether you like them or not is because as players, if you spend a lot of time practicing, which obviously you do, sometimes uh, you, you over time you're compensating. Well, I spent 20 years, literally 20 years, from from my 16th birthday yep. playing D R A strings, All right, man. 10 to 46 for 15 years, yep. and then 11 to 49 for the remainder of those years. So I've got used yeah, that, to the tension That's what it is. So you, you compensate sort of I've like you got used to having. Yeah. A lot of players have told me that once they put them on for a gig, yeah. and they get through a gig, then they're convinced. Yeah. That's what I'm, well, that's what I'm going to try, because yeah. I've got a gig here on Friday for Super right. Duncan. We're headlining on Friday at 5 p.m. And uh, I'm going to try these. Right. And if I, if I play shit, I'm going to tell you, and it's your fault, and uh, yeah, and I'm sorry, audience. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got a chart here. Tell us about it. So basically, what, ba what balance? <laughs> it, it won't stay too long because we're uh, we're at a show here, so we're trying to talk a lot about everything. Uh, but the, 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 the balance tension comes about through mathematical formulas, which sounds kind of geeky, but there's also an art to it. We actually spend some time taking the mathematical, so you've got your balance tension set here in the blue, and you've got your regular set here in the red. So you can see there's definitely a, a variation between on a normal set, a normal traditional set of strings has more variation between the strings. Sometimes as much as 20% variation between the attention to the strings. Science is not always perfect though, so you have to take a little human element to it. So we did a lot of play testing, changing the gauges up and down as we needed to in order to get the strings to not only feel, to look balanced on a screen when you graph, but feel balanced when you're playing. So it's a little bit of art and science together, but it really does make a different experience for the player. It takes a little bit to get to used to, a little bit getting used to it, but already uh, we've had a, tons of people that have uh, contacted us through social media and, and, and boards and things like that, and, and expressing the, 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 the thank, thanking us so much for a while. Somebody really figured this out and this is a much better experience. The other thing is that if you want consistency and you're a blues player and you, you do a lot of bending, I do a lot of bending. I'm basically a blues, blues player. And country players, and you're, if you 
you think you're doing double stop bends or anything like that? That's what I'm going to do. It's going to be the same tension to get you to a quarter tone as a, as a half tone. It's going to be the same every single string. That's kind of a weird thing to begin with. That was what put me off and I wasn't sure about it. But the, the more I think about it, intervallically, if you're playing also bends and double stops, it's always going to be the same tension no matter which string to take you to that semitone bend or whatever bend you're after. So it gives you consistency. Sounds like you're convinced to me. Well, I'm convinced here, but I'm not convinced here yet. But I'm just being honest. It's the only way so I can. Well, let's, talk, well, let's talk again, everybody. All right. All right. All right. That's a good it. idea. Well, I've been Chappers. I've been, I've been Brian. Brian. And I'm at the Norm Show. So's Brian. We'll see you later, guys. All right. Chappers Brian out.